I know, it looks gross. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, or as always, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Today, we're working on the Tahoe again, and this is going to be that other thing in last video that I was telling you guys about that I wanted to fix, and that is going to be the speakers. So, if you watched a couple videos ago, I replaced the radio in this thing, which... It's an aftermarket, but it looks more factory, and I like it a lot. And it does sound a little bit better, actually, compared to the last one. But the speakers definitely are just not keeping up. And I'm not adding any any amps or anything like that. I think it sounds good with the factory amp, but I'm just going to kind of upgrade the speakers just because they're going on, what, 16 years old now, something like that. So I'm going to be popping those out and replacing them with these. So these are the, I think the Tropo series. These are the 6.5s and they're the components. So they've got these and then some tweeters. Now, I've already installed the speakers on this side and I'm gonna put the tweeter in here. The tweeter's behind this, but I've gotta just cut the hole out and figure out a way to mount it. I think I'm just gonna use like, maybe try to use some hot glue or something. They don't put out any base at all, these tweeters. So it shouldn't be bouncing around too much. I think hot glue will do it. But the speaker's already in there. It already looks good. I mean, you can't even really tell, but they sound incredible. The difference between that side and this side is night and day. So that's gonna be great. And like I said, I'm just gonna cut the hole out here, put that other tweeter here. I'm still using the factory tweeters here. So it sounds really good. And then I've already replaced the back, which obviously is right there. And then this one, I've just got it dangling right there for now, but I'm going to mount it, I think probably like right here, cut a hole out and just put it right there, something like that. I don't think there's a airbag in this piece, so it should be okay. And then the little component thing, I actually ran the wires up through here into the door and put the component in here where it like goes from the tweeter to the sub and everything, just in case there's a connection issue there, I don't have to pull the door panel out. Plus. I couldn't really find a good place to mount it in here that didn't involve me tapping it into the door. And I didn't really want to use self tappers or anything like that. So I just put it, there's a little pocket in here. I'll show you when I'm doing that side. But there's a little pocket in here that that fits perfectly in. And then in the front, it fits right behind this panel real good. And you can still see the wires a little bit. I just got to tuck them down a little bit better. But it fits pretty well behind that panel. You can't really tell it's there. But I did the same thing. I just rounded the wires. Right up through here, not a big deal. Again, I will show you guys that when I do it. And as far as the speakers, the speaker mounts go, I just bought these uh, adapters that fit these. And I'll leave all that in the link in the description. But they also came with these, so I don't have to ha I don't have to hack up the factory harness. So that's real cool. And then, I mean, it's pretty pretty simple i mean the hardest part is getting the wires through those little um, rubber boots but i have a pretty easy thing that i'll show you guys that shouldn't be too hard for you to do so let's get to taking this door panel off and let's get started all right guys so to remove this door panel we're going to start out by taking off this lock it's super super simple all you got to do is take a little flathead just put it right in there it might take a couple tries, but and then just kind of pop it out. Sometimes it'll pop all the way out, that's fine. But as long as it comes out, ideally you want it to come out halfway, so that way it'll still stay in there and you don't lose it. But again, if it pops out all the way, no biggie, just find it on the ground. And then uh, just keep it together. But then that'll pop out like so. And then set this off to the side. And then you'll get the same flathead come over this you want to kind of open up this door a little bit but if you could see there's a little tiny tab right down in there you'll do the same thing you'll just put your screwdriver in that and then pry up which on this one I found if you just kind of stick it in and turn it it just pops right out and again I'll kind of try to show you but you'll just kind of stick it in there turn it like that and it'll just pop right out and then the last one will be this one right here and you'll just get your screwdriver, put it in there, do kind of the same thing. Stick it in, try to get behind it, and then just kind of pry back on a little bit, and it's that simple. And same thing, it'll fall out, no biggie, just pick it up, 
and put it off to the side. Now moving on to the actual bolts, the only bolts that hold the door in. They're going to be two right under that panel you just took off. And then there's going to be one right behind the door handle. And those are 10 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and get those out. And you can use a ratchet, but I mean, I've been using this little screwdriver and they've been coming out pretty easy. They don't have to be that tight because they're just threaded into a little retainer back there. So if you torque them down too much, you'll strip that retainer out and then basically it won't be holding on to anything anymore. Right. So now that all the bolts are out, the only thing holding this in now is just clips all along the bottom and then this little piece. And there we go. And I think somebody's actually been in here before because that was broken before I pulled on it. So be careful when pulling these off. I did end up using a flathead just because I was pulling on it. It kind of felt like it was going to break. But so that comes off. And now again, like I said, just clips around the side. So now you're going to want to undo your handle. And your handle's pretty simple. There's two little push tabs on either side. I'll show you more when I get it out. But there's two little push pins. All right, guys. So door panel is completely off. And this is what I was talking about. You got two little push pins. So you just get a flat head or something and push on one side, kind of pop it out, and push on the other side. And they'll come completely out. You just pull it out from this, it'll swivel around, and you can unhook it from there. Now all these little connections, a lot of people I've seen say to pop this out with like a screwdriver or something, but I've actually found out if you get the door panel off, which is super, super easy to do, and you can unplug all of those with no issues whatsoever. All it is, is they're all, all the clips are on this front side, you just feel for them and just pull them all out. And then you've got your little put pins right here. You push them up with your thumb and that whole thing comes out. And then you can leave it like that so that way when you go to put it back in, that whole thing just fell out. I don't want to pick it up because I don't want it to fall. But, and that way, whenever you go to put it back in, that's already off and it just makes it a little bit easier to put all your connections back in, which you can do it with it still connected i did it on the passenger side and it worked just fine but it just makes it a little easier doing it like that and again all those connections only plug in one way gm was pretty good about doing that so they only plug in one way so you don't have to worry about mixing and matching all right guys so now that that door panel is off we have perfect access to our speaker and this is going to be a seven millimeter up here there's just one holding this in so once that little bolt is off, put that to the side because you will reuse it. And then there's going to be a little bit of adhesive or like some kind of a seal on this. You can use a fl like flathead screwdriver to get in between there, but you can also just kind of push it real good with your hand and that thing will pop out. So then you've got your little clip here. All you do is just push in on that and pull it out. And then it'll be, you have a little retainer back here. You just pull that out. All right, and there is your old paper Bose speaker. So, and one thing with these clips with the new harness is you'll have to tear off this little tab and then it'll fit perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear that off. I'll show you how to do it. It's super, super easy. You don't gotta use a Dremel or anything like that. But I'll show you how to take that off. Just get some pliers, kind of like this, or anything you have. And don't squeeze too hard, but just enough to bend that little tab. And then once you get those little, I don't know if you can see, but that little white line, you can literally just grab it and tear it off. And from where it's got that little white line on it, it tears off right on that line just to weaken that plastic but look there we go tore that off that's perfect it'll fit in our harness just fine now and now here's our harness we'll just go ahead and plug that straight in and as you can see fits like a glove so 
Now, if you don't have the component set like I do, you can just plug the speaker in and you're done. But since I got the components, I'm gonna have to clip these ends off. And now if you're mounting the um, component to the door, this is pretty much all you're gonna have to do. But since I'm running it inside the car, it's a little bit more involved. Like I said, I gotta run it all the way through that boot into the cab and, you know, do all that stuff. So what I've gotta do, and I mean, you'd have to do this too, but I've gotta add extra wire since I'm running it inside. So strip this back. And then we'll get the the wire that doesn't have any ends to it. So say this one has ends, that one has ends. There's a wiring harness in here. So here's the harness here that has no ends to it. They're just open wire. And you'll take one end, connect, you got your red and black. Well, you got your red on this one, and I think this one's just clear, but that's ground. So you'll attach your red and black, but if you don't have any of these, I really suggest that these things are awesome. Not sponsored, but they are really, really good. So just grab two of these. Run it down. Run it down, and then just attach the positive, positive, negative to negative. All right, and then we'll run our solder joint over it. Make sure the solder is over the cord itself. And then I'll run and go get my heat gun. Make sure they're still where they need to be. Run it right over where the exposed wire is. And then we'll just keep these guys up. So now those are a super good connection, watertight, soldered. Kind of let that sit there a little bit just to cool off and now i'm gonna get to running the wires up through the cab and get everything hooked up okay so this is going to be probably the most tedious part of the process you're going to want to take this off and it's super super easy there are two tabs on the top and the bottom that will pop in and you can just pop those out. So let me do that real quick. All right. Now, on the door itself, I found it's actually a little bit easier to take your hand in here and push on one side and then push it out. Now this one, I found just kind of peel back this just a little bit. Then you can get a flathead in there and just push on that. And one side will pop out, then you can pop out the other side. So now, we want all three of the wires that are gonna get connected to go through that boot and into the cabin. So we'll get, this one's to the tweeter, I think. And the tweeter's gonna be in the door, in this case, so that's gonna be running in here as well. So you'll want the connection side in the door and the bare side in the cabin. So, I'm going to grab these. So we've got two so far. And then we want one more. So that is going to be the connection to our speaker. Now, I already have this connected to the speaker on the other side. But I'm going to go ahead, put these all together. And then now, you're going to want to get a coat hanger or some kind of rod and we're gonna feed it through the boot down into the door attach these with some tape to that rod and then pull them up through the boot and then it's as simple as that it's actually really really easy just remember that when you do go to tape it up have the tape go around this hook as well and just kind of taper off and then tape it around here so that way this isn't grabbing on any wires or boots or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and feed this through the boot and then hook the wires up. 
And it's as simple as that. And then after this door is done and buttoned up, we'll move to the back. All right, so as you can see, there it is. Now, again, grab all of your wires, which in this case is three. And then you wanna take them like this and wrap them like that. And you get your tape, which you can use electrical tape, but I didn't, I couldn't really find any. So I just had some of this Gorilla Tape laying around and I figure it's a little bit stronger, so it'll probably help out a little bit better. Let's just go ahead and make sure it's got a good seal. It's taped up real good around there. And then again, you wanna wrap this hook up to where it almost looks like a wedge. So when you pull it through, the only thing that it could possibly snag on this is this tape and it's malleable so it'll move. So now, let's go to pulling this through. And hopefully it goes through the boot and doesn't give us much of a headache. And there we go. So as you can see, that is all the way through. So now we'll just feed it through here to the back and then I'll start hooking it up to our component. All right, now it's time to hook it up to our component. So what this is, is it's going to input, which means what it, what it says here, it's gonna be an input from the car's radio itself from the speaker wire, which will be this one. Go to the woofer, which the woofer in this is your six by five. And then the tweeter, which is obviously your tweeter. So now we've got these three bundles of wire. We're not sure which one's which. So that's why I haven't, you know, buttoned up anything in the door yet. So I can kind of tug on one of these wires and figure out which is which, which isn't really the best. Ideally, you'd want to like um, label those. But I mean, I found this works just as good. But right now I'm going to go ahead and start putting all this together. So I've got my input wire, just kind of pull on it and you see that this one is the one that's pulling back. So if you pull that, it starts pulling that in. So I'll go ahead and pull that through. And now again, ideally you want to add the little ends that clip into these, but that's one of the reasons why I'm putting it inside the cab because I do plan on doing that. I just didn't have any right now. So with it being in the cab, I can just reach in, grab these components, and add those ends. I don't have to tear the door panel back off. And it'll just make it that much easier to service. So I mean, you can get a pretty good, a pretty solid connection like this. But again, I don't recommend it. It probably won't last very long. And it's probably a little bit more prone to vibration and everything like that so eventually i will need to replace these but again that's why i'm putting them in the cab instead of in the door i won't have to tear the door panel back off so now our input is there now we'll go ahead and grab these ones which these ends are our tweeter ends so looks like it's pulling on this one so the tweeter i'll leave a little bit more slack in the door just because it's got to go all the way up so now all that's together what i'm gonna do now is turn on the radio test everything before i slap it all back together and it should be fine so i'm gonna go ahead and run this tweeter wire up through the door so that way i can hook the tweeter up and if everything's good i'll go ahead and start slapping all this back together all right guys so got it back in again with just a one seven i got my tweeter in there looking good Again, it's going to sit up like this in that piece, but I just haven't cut that yet, so that'll be all good. Now, all I got to do is slap together the door panel, and we'll be good to go. We'll move on to the back. All right, guys, door panel is back on. The component is up in here, zip-tied, all nice and neat. And again, 
pretty accessible so when I need to pull it back down and get it up I did pull this off to kind of tuck the wires back in there and then you had to pull this off to pull that off so all of it's just push pins super super easy to do and then the door panel putting it back on again super super easy just reverse of how you took it off and then that being off is a whole lot easier to plug it all back in it's all plugged in all works and again the tweeters back here for right now so it's not really doing anything right now but definitely when I get that cut out and get it mounted, you'll be able to hear that. Plus, we've got the factory tweeter still, so it's not going to be too bad. And you can still hear it a little bit. So hopefully here in the next like week or so, I'll get my drill and everything. Because that's the main problem. I can't find my drill to drill that out, drill a hole there. So probably just buy a new drill and then get all that good to go. So now, we're going to jump to the back door and start knocking that thing out all right so here we are on the back door panel now the back door panel is going to be almost 100 percent identical to the front the only difference is there's only one bolt in here rather than the two in the front so it'll still be the same thing pop this off pop this off pop this off and it'll be a bolt back here and then one 10 millimeter back here instead of two and i think it's on this side and then all the rest are just clips you pop out so let's get to pulling this off i'll probably just speed through this one only because it's literally the exact same as the front all right guys so the back door panel is now off and i apologize in advance for it kind of being sideways i need a new tripod the little mounting piece messed up so if you're a little bit sideways i apologize i'm gonna be fixing that soon so but so we'll go ahead and pop this speaker out. It's literally the exact same as the front as well. The only difference is I'm going to be routing the tweeter in a different spot. So I'll only be needing two cords to go up through the front. Plus I'll be showing you guys how I do that too. So we we'll go ahead and pop that speaker out. All right, so again, have to tear that little tab off. There we go that's it now we'll get the other new harness all right guys so i didn't show how to install that first one but these are all going to be the same to install so i figured i'd just show one now they all have this now i don't know if a lot of other speakers can fit with this in there but this one can't so all you do is take both your thumbs and just push real hard and it'll snap that off and then these CT sound speakers fit perfectly in here. So it's got four mounting points. I've only been using two only because I'm running out of bolts. But two should be perfect, especially with how tight these go in there. And they thread themselves. So should be pretty good. Shouldn't come out. If they do, obviously, I'll fix it from there. But like I said, I've never had any, had any problems with doing it that way. The truck has two bolts holding those speakers in. And they've been in there for... A couple years no issues so i think it'll be okay Let's grab our speaker i already have it hooked up only because if you don't it's a pain to get these hooked up because they're the way they're in there and then i mean that's pretty much it for that and then we'll line up the holes screw it in and they'll be good and here we are one here one there now one thing i don't really understand is they don't come with mounting screws so CT sounds, if you're watching this, maybe maybe send a little bit of mounting screws. But other than that, everything's good. Make sure these aren't too bent up and weird. So now this is good. We'll go ahead and start shoving wires through the cab. And of course, we'll hook that up and all that good stuff. So the rear is a little bit different. This one doesn't have any push pins, at least on the door side. It's just a seal. So you can do this from above, but just kind of found it's a little bit easier to get your thumb back in there and just peel around. And then that seal comes out. Now this one is a little bit trickier. There are clips all around it. And you gotta be real careful 
not to break them you can kind of push in the seal and feel where they are i think there's there's like one on each thing if you can i think you can actually peel this whole seal back and see exactly where they are and just kind of get a flat head and poke around at it all right guys got a little bit carried away but you kind of get the gist you can get a flat head and pull back on this seal and it'll come off of this plastic piece and then you've got four clips that you'll have to get in there and pry now if you have this backed up you can get a flat head and just put it right right in there and it'll pop it out or you can just put a flat head in between this and the body because it'll pull out just enough a really really small flat head and just push that in and just knock them out there's one on each corner and then this whole thing on plugs so I'm gonna go ahead and do that just because it'll be a little bit easier to get the wires through. Just a little pull up and then pull on that. So that's that. Now I'm gonna get my hanger and tape and run the wires through. All right guys, so I went ahead and routed the wires up through here. It's the same thing as I did on the front. It's got the hanger, wherever it is, I think it's there on the ground somewhere. But I just got the hanger. Send it up through the top, down to the bottom, through the door, attached them here with tape, pull them up through. Now, I'm going to film this part because this is going to be a little different. For one, instead of doing three, I'm only doing the two, which is going to be the one coming to the input on the component and then the one going out to the speaker. And so, the reason I'm only doing two is because the tweeter is mounted in here. I'm going to do kind of the same thing as that. And again, that looks gross, but I am going to mount that, so don't worry. But it's going to do the same thing. It's going to come up all the way along here and end up about right here. So that's one less wire I got to run through the cab or through the harness. But I do still need to figure out which one of these are which. So I'm still going to do that pull through method. And then I'm going to go ahead and hook up the component. But before I do any of that, I'm going to take this piece off. So I can get these cords through this and then also I'm gonna run the wires make sure you got kind of a lot but I'm gonna run the wires in this little hole right here on the side nothing really goes through there the um, this covers all that up so it's not gonna be leaking or anything and it's perfect access to run some wires through there so I'm gonna do that and then Pretty much that's gonna wrap this job up so to pull this off it's literally just clipped in all right so as you can see it's off I found go ahead and pull this guy off it's your front um, door trim and then pull off the back door trim and then you can kind of pull out on this bottom piece give you a lot more leverage to pull up here and just pull out and then it just pops right out so dang it's a little, it's a little gross back here but we are going to slide the wires in and we're gonna want to pick them up either you can do it somewhere back here or if you can get them down far enough put them right in here which i think that might be what i do i put them pulled them out here over on the passenger side but if i can get the wires low enough i might try to grab them from right here so let me feed those in through there i'll try to pull them out through right here all right guys so i just went ahead and did it all like i said right here that's where i just shoved it through shoved through down here just kind of kept feeding them and they did actually come through pretty easy right here so on the second pillar and all i'm going to do with this component is put it in here there's enough insulation and kind of wiring and everything that it'll sit down in there pretty nice. Won't have to worry about it rattling too much or really at all. So all I got to do is hook the tweeter up. But for the sake of time, I'm going to hook it up and then probably make sure all that works and then tie all this together and then go ahead and install and run the tweeter. So, so let's get to buttoning this up real quick okay so this is what it's supposed to look like there are little grooves in here so there's really no way you can put it on like 
wrong and also it's the shape of the plug so pretty simple and then it'll just whenever you're ready go plug back into this obviously and then it'll just go in and snap in and then that's it you're done with that and then this one obviously you'll just push it in so let's get to putting this in actually but i could do this part with one hand just grab it plug it in like so you heard it click and then we'll just shove all this stuff in here all right and it's pretty much there i'll just kind of hear all those little connections click and that's back in place and this one kind of same thing except you'll just fold this one up just make sure all the grooves are lined up and in place kind of pull on it and then that's that that is done solid secure now before i get too too far into re-putting all the stuff in let me go test it real quick i won't show that just because youtube copyright all that good stuff but i'll put this all together if there's a problem you guys will know if not you'll see me throwing all this stuff back together all right guys so back door panel is on as you see everything up here is done seats back where it needs to be route it up still dangling i know it looks gross i hate it but like i said here hopefully in the next couple days or maybe next week be able to get that drill drill hole right there mount it i may mount it somewhere else so it's not you know blasting whoever's sitting back here in the ear so i may put it somewhere else but for right now plan on mounting them about right there so i've been in it this thing sounds wild like for i mean these not even being like their higher end speakers i mean they're still good but i think they're like 80 watts something like that rms so i figured that'd be good to use without the um you know without an aftermarket amp figure the stock amp could drive that pretty well but they sound great no complaints i knew they'd be pretty good honestly didn't really expect them to be that good i really hate that you guys can't hear it really the camera mic does never really does it justice anyways but trust me it is a night and day difference especially with the new aftermarket head unit brand new speakers all that good stuff it's it's good so really not that expensive either i can't remember the exact prices but i think the speakers and tweeters and you know the whole component set i want to say i'm into it for under like 250 something like that like it's i can't remember exactly how much it costs but it wasn't very much especially for what you get the quality of it and the sound so anyways that's probably gonna wrap this video up guys if i left anything out or you wanted me to show you more then definitely leave all that down in the comments if you have any questions leave those down there as well i answer them to the best of my ability as always i didn't show too much of the back door putting it together because it's literally the exact same as the front the only difference is you have one less bolt to worry about and then as far as you know running the wires through stuff like that i did all that on the front it's you're literally just copy and paste in the back so that's really it um again if you like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you guys like the content i'm putting out and want to see more go follow me on all my socials they'll be at the end cards at the end of this video and in the description below go check out my links below you can get yourself some good products and if you use my promo code you can save you a little bit of money so definitely go check those out and let me know what you guys think of you know the progress i'm making on the tahoe Wait, let me know what you guys think about the tahoe i've had kind of mixed i've noticed kind of mixed um emotions when it comes to when i post about the tahoe some get a little some get a lot um just let me know what you guys think about it i love the thing personally but again i'm a sucker for big suvs stuff like that like if it wasn't my wife's car i'd be lifting this thing everything like that but she wants to keep it tame i respect it but yeah, I'm a sucker for these things. I've always loved them. But let me know what you guys think about it. I don't want to drone on and on. But that's going to wrap this video up, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time.